how the Lord made good to anyone this year. How the Lord brought anyone through the hard time and tribulation that you gave this year. Why don't you put your hands together and give God some praise right now? Come on, come on, give God praise right now. Come on, give God praise right now. Come on, give God praise right now. It's been challenging for God to be
beautiful to have the gifts and it's beautiful to have the place and the, the cookies and the, the food, but the best thing about being of Christmas is that we're here to see it and we're amongst family and we get to see another day and that God has still kept us no matter what we may be going through because God is still able and if he don't do anything for us let's give God a hand praise for being here in the house of the Lord one more time even in 2008 18 hallelujah it could have been different something could have Are we 
trouble. Yes, I can't do it. Now. I set my iniquities before thee, and I seek the sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told.
Mary said, I complained about my feet hurting until I saw some people. Yes. Uh, 
and that's not you. <laughs> that's not you. And it's not me. And it's not Kiki. <laughs> you know, you look around you. And so I thought that was such a significant lesson today that I thought I'd regurgitate it. Bring it back up again like a cow chooses yes. cud. Yes. Yes. Choose it over and over again until eventually he can make some milk yes. and some cheese. And we drink it and eat it. Yep. <laughs> but God put it in the cow mm. to eat green grass uh. and produce white milk. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm still mystified about nature. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, and that's his creation. Yes. And they listen to him. Uh, you know, his nature listens to him. Trees grow where trees grow. And we go through what we have to do in nature. But God has obedience in every category but man. Yeah. So if you want to model his love, you got to find out which way God is moving and move with God. Yes. Man. Is that right? Yes. Right. Right. We're going to ask everyone that has an offering to stand on your feet. And let us bless the Lord with our offertory yes. and tithe. Yes. And then we will dispense young people taught today they would like to uh, have a rehearsal for watch night. Well, we'll be there at the service about that. Amen. Okay. Five minutes after service, ten minutes after service, because we have to make some decisions about our music department. You see, and um, and our music praise us so that we can be uh, uh, stabilized for the new year. I want to go into the new year doing what God wants me to do. A hundred percent, not fifty, not thirty. I want to model what God wants me to model. His love, and we're going to be talking about that. Uh, there are some who have just been appointed in certain areas. Yes. And I want to make sure that they understand what they've been asked to do. Amen. Our new trustees, Amen. our coordinator of departments. Yes. And you know, we, we have some significant yes. growth needs. Yes, and then we also want to uh, be blessed by some of the things the jurisdiction wants to do for, for us. They said they'd like to help us with some of our needs, our yes. roof and some other things. Yes. But they have to know the, the needs and Brother Jose has been working on that with the, with the trustees on how to replace our roof. It's warm in here and we want to keep the heat in here. Right? That's right? And in order to do that, we have to support our church and, and do what we have to do. Our numbers have been dwindling, but God.
God still is on the throne. Yes, he is. And he will supply our needs. I, 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 I'm starting off with $50. Amen. Now, the reason why I now said it is because Jesus went by the treasury and he looked and he watched what they were giving. And sometimes it's good to be seen giving. The only time you don't is when you're giving alms. Alms is different from offering. Offering goes for the temple. And arms goes directly to people. Amen. And I've given people money in their hands and told them, don't say I gave it to you. Because right. I didn't want other folks coming. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm letting the church know what I'm doing for the church. Amen. And I'm giving $50 today Amen. in behalf of the church's needs. Church, see the outside folks. All right, now I'm gonna ask uh, Elder Hexel to come and pray. And of course, the tithe go to the church. Don't go to me. How many knew that the tithe go to the church? Some pastors get all the time. Did y'all know that? Some Baptist churches, they bless the people with, bless the people with what they have left over from the tithe. I give the tithe to the church and the tithe gives me what they feel I give. say some things. Amen. You know, because it's important that people need to know what your pastor lives on. Right, right, right. Okay. Now I'm going to hear Brother Axel. Okay, my grace is Lord. Lord, I know you're all tired of me because I say the same thing.
put your hands together one more time and give God a praise. We honor the pulpit on today, amen, and to all who are honored is due, amen. We thank God. The last Sunday of 2018. Just look at your neighbor and say, whoo, we made it. Strength. Amen. For what you have to do. 
You can't go wrong with the Holy Ghost. No, no, he's not. He is God. God the Son. God the Father is love. And love gave his son, which is light. And, he, and the light became life in you and brought you forth, boy, through the Holy Spirit. Yes. So you got love, light, and life. And you need all three to go through every day. Yes, you ask God, the Holy Spirit, wake me up this morning. Wake me up tomorrow. Because you are life. And I can't live without you. You have to sustain everything around me to keep me sustained. And I, and I don't mind saying, Lord, I depend on you. I depend on the Lord. And, and it's not just that I'm saying that, but it's true. Every decision I make, I try to ask God to guide me. Because I want to be a model of love. And so, yes, I listen to the lesson today, two things I, I derive from Sunday school. And I know that those who go to the nursing home are not privileged to go through those lessons in its depth like the Sunday school does. And today, First Lady gave a litany of uh, Jesus and his coming back again which is an advent. Now, what is an advent? Somebody know what an advent is? Do you know what it is? Advent. Now, I don't want the preachers to guess it, to say it, because they know. But uh, ad, when you say advent, is something added to the event. <laughs> A supernatural occurrence that caused the event to be what it was. Right. And you see, the shepherds realized that first. And, and God came to his own first. Because uh, God the Father and God the Son are shepherds. Right. They set up pastors who are shepherds. Yeah, and, and, and the shepherds mind his sheep. Yeah, that's what they do. I'm an under-shepherd. Jesus is the real shepherd. Because some people call me like they did this morning, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, for prayer. And then while I was in Sunday school, one of the brothers came and say to write a letter for one of the other brothers that I know that fell into a, a dilemma. And he figured I could help him out like I did some others. And, and, and that dilemma dealt with politics. And I don't deal with politics because politics means poly means many and text means blood suckers. <laughs> so that's the secular. And I don't get involved with people's political business unless I do it on the level on this level from our county's level and all and on, because the county requires certain things uh, of us as a church and certain things of us as 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 a, a, a corporation. Yes, we are accountable to the state and the county for certain things. You cannot have a 501c3 tax exemption and ignore the state. 
You cannot make money and not report it. That's right. How many didn't know you got to report? And Jesus was a model. He sent Peter fishing. He said, listen, although we have our own kingdom, I have to render unto Caesar that which is Caesar, so I got to pay my taxes. And that which is God, I give it to God, my tithe. And I, I, you know, I don't get in trouble if I, if I uh, create a model for both of them. Because they're going to ask, how much did you make last year? Did, did he ask you all that? Or, or he, he said, you know, now they don't count invisible money. But they do count the money that you say you receive. And they say, you got to, you know, do, do what God, so God told Jesus, how Jesus told God, I mean, was God that told Peter, we have to pay our taxes for all 13 of us. Now, go on down to the river. And the first fish that you catch will have enough gold in his mouth. Not talking about his teeth either. And, and, it, and he sent them down there. And he had enough for all the disciples. Now how would you like to go fishing and have all your money in one place. Oh, yeah. Next year is the year of miracles. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's the year of miracles. God's going to produce it just by you going fishing. And he didn't just start that. He did that when he met Peter. He went to Peter's job. And sometimes he'll go to your job and challenge you. Yeah, he came to my job and challenged me. Now, there were some things I needed to do, but I didn't want to go through the state to do it. Because uh, when you go to school uh, and, 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 and you, 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 gain a certain amount of credit, um, they allow you to do certain things based on your education. Right. They don't want you working on electricity and you haven't had any training in, in, in opening up that, that box back there. Right. Now don't go sticking your hands where you don't know where you're sticking it. Because you may be shocked. <laughs> and so they require a test. You have to be tested. Even in counseling people. They want to know. They call this church when this lady got saved. And her children uh, were blessed. She said, you know something? I've been going to psychotherapy for the last 12 years. And the Lord got my mind made up. And my heart fixed. Sometimes you need your heart fixed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go to the doctors now, they ask you, are you depressed? And if you say you're depressed, then they say, oh, okay. And we got something to, to help you with your depression. Right. Now, uh, uh, you taking drugs? Uh, yeah, well, you got to give up your drugs and take this. And so the world is, is in a sad predicament. 
sad, S-A-D, sex, alcohol, and drugs are messing up the young folk. And old folk too. Because of the fact that there's too many mama drums. Y'all know what I'm talking about, because y'all, some of y'all know, y'all have friends that know that. I ain't gonna say it, but got two, three children here, and two, three children there, and five kids over here, and you get angry because they want child support. But you, you, you made them. That's right. That's right. There's more children born by accident than on purpose. Yep. And this is one of the aspects of what I was talking about, love. There's one aspect of love called pragma. Practical love. Somebody got to go out there and work. We all can lay up in this bed and go to sleep. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can tell you about eros, eros, and the erotic love and all that. But after all that's over, somebody got to go to work. Yeah. Come on. Now, see, they don't like that practical side of a message. You know, you know somebody has to. We, we can't look in each other's eyes and pay the light with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And, and each of the each of the fellas that wanted to marry my daughter, I had to have a little talk with them. All right. To let them know there's a practical I know you Google eyes and you got you Luna. That's one se segment of love, Luna. And you feel like a lunatic sometimes. Uh, you know, you want to go on a honeymoon. That's what Luna means, honey. You, you want to, you know. Uh, oh yeah, this is, this, this is a part of the message that yeah. some folks need to hear. <laughs> you see, because you, I know you moonstruck in me. <laughs> You know, you can't let a hand go. <laughs> and you infatuated over her hair and her teeth. And, and he's a, she's infatuated over your muscles. <laughs> How you look. And, uh, oh, yeah. Break it down, yeah, Pastor. Yeah. Break it down. He, he, that's that's, that's <laughs> in the church, Deacon Bell. Did you know that? Uh -huh. <laughs> These kids don't come from space. They used to tell us the stalk dropped them. <laughs> you know, so uh, that's another part of love, Luna. And then there's a part, another part of love called Ludis. L-U-D-I-S. That's friendly love. You will want to be a friend to your companion. You want to friendly, you want to have fun with your right. wife right. or with your husband sometime. Yeah. Everything should not be Digger or Dell, the friendly undertaker. <laughs> some things should be happy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you got to have some happiness in your, in your relationships. Yes. Now, I'm not, I don't have to put my hand behind my head and say, Truth is truth, whether you scream it, sing it, or say it. You see? And then, so how many did I give you? Three? There's a love called Stargate. Stargate means fellowship love, koinonia. You have to have a special, what? For the, you see me when I got down prayer and you see that 
I had a hole in my shoes. It wasn't that I didn't, that I wanted to style those shoes where I had a hole in them. One brother saw me years ago with a hole in my shoe when I went down to pray. And he bought me a pair of shoes. And invited me to his house and told me, this is what I got you. I'm not going to say it in front of the church. Because it ain't their business. Right. And then that's what I was telling you was that kind of love. You see, you love the church. You, you, you let the people know you support the church. But if you're giving to somebody, don't brag about how that dress you gave us. You see that dress she's shouting in? I was the one who gave her that dress. You see? But store gave me, I help you and keep my mouth shut. Now, now, now there was a lady, Sister Fisher came to my house and said, God told me and my husband yes. to get you a car. I said, well, I believe the Lord told you that. I really do believe that. <laughs> he said, and now we watch you going to rehearsals and playing for the choir and back and forth and taking trains and taking your old kids. I had to live down you know, and take them to rehearsal. Oh yeah. Now I know this, this, this is the story of older men. Younger men can't say this. But I call the old because they know the way. The young men, I've written to them because they're strong. So I need some strong folk around me. But then I need some folk that got some sense. Got some old years of wisdom. You see? And, and so he said, don't. The husband wasn't saying, but the husband told me, he said, listen, I know your habit of going into the church and testifying about what you've been blessed with. Don't tell this, because I got relatives that I can't lend money to, and they go to that church. <laughs> so he said, this is between me and you, and here's the keys. Here's the registration, and here's the address to where the car is. But that's just between me and you, am I right? I agreed quickly <laughs> and got my car. <laughs> and listen, wherever God blesses you, receive it. Receive it. Well, but he wasn't your, no, no, no. He wasn't my favorite person. Favorite or not, if you give me $3,000, you my favorite person. Because <laughs> the people are supposed to be my favorite. When I'm broke, they broke. You see? So that's, 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 that's a, Friendly love, you see, and fellowship. He was in my church. His wife was a staunch missionary. And she said, you know, Elder Rockford needs a car. And he said, yeah, I think he does. He's always trying to take these kids going places in the weather. So you do that because you want to be faithful to your church. So you take your children. And that's how my children stayed around the church because I honored the church and honored God and loved God back. Yeah. So we covered Luna, Pragma, Ludus, the playful love, and then Storge, the fellowship love. Mm -hmm. Then there's, y'all heard of Filio? Yeah. 
Okay, it, it was the king who, who sent his brother to, to uh, and put him on the throne in Philadelphia. That's where the term Philly, Philly came from. Love, city of love. Mm -hmm. A brotherly love. I, my, I, I love my brother so much. I gave him a city. How'd you like to have a city? How many would love a city? For all the money that comes in that city going to you. <laughs> Abraham, teach. Listen, you you are a perfect example of my love because you lived in a place where witchcraft and all that stuff exists mm -hmm. and idol worship, and some people worship things. They idolize sports. Verses. And yeah, yeah, I think they, James and, you know, and the warriors and all them, they do things I, I wish I could do, but I'm too short. And that's number one. And even if I was that tall, I couldn't do them exploits like they did. I watched them. They can be back 30, 40 feet and shoot a ball in. I can be 30, 40 feet and shoot, but I can't shoot a ball in. And so, and so we have to know that if God gifts you in an area, give him the praise for it. Amen, amen. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some gifted folks. Really gifted. There's some gifted cooks. You feel like slapping your face when you get up from that table. <laughs> you know, one lady made a cake for me, but it was so rough and dry. I said, could you please get me a glass of water? <laughs> she said, all right. Do you want something else? Do you want another piece? I said, I didn't even want the first piece. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I never tasted the cake that rough. <laughs> but I couldn't embarrass them. <laughs> so I ate that first dry piece and baptized you. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't her gift. Now, my wife has a gift, of course. My daughters have a gift. Because if you want to learn how to cook, stay around cooks. That's right. Yeah. Just like musicians. I learned how to play because I hung around the best. And I said, what did you just do? He said, well, I stretched out this. Um, Benny, Benny was one of the best, Benny Cummings. Yeah, that's right. And he came out of this church. Yeah. And I used to ask him, I said, wait, 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 back up a little. <laughs> what did you just do? He said, I did. And I got down there and said, mm. <laughs> and, and, and him and Bishop Nat Townsley Genius. were geniuses. They, 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 they could do almost any instrument and back their own self up. Yeah. yeah well, how many was here that they did a live recording in this church? I know our bishop did a live recording at Zion. I was there. And, and his, 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 his song hit the charts. Yep. And, but Benny taught him. 
Amen. You see, if you want to be an expert, get around experts. Yeah. That's right. You see, that's how you learn. That's how you, you, you can do what they do if they show you. And I, I looked at I looked at the TV the other night and saw Isaiah Thomas and and uh, and, 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 he, and the people he learned from and some of them slapped him in the head when he didn't do right. He said, Do you, you get you let him get by with that? He said, he's teaching me something. He need to slap me if I don't do right. So they were talking about that today. <laughs> they were talking about that today. You know, you're not a son, you're a bastard when you can't take right. correction. Right. You're a bastard, you're not a son. So then we got another love called um, agape. And, and Sister Alexander was right on target with that one. She said, uh, agape, the old on the end means that it's an action. Because a lot of folk will tell you, I got love for you. Mm -hmm. But I. It stops. It, I can't deliver it to you. Yeah. And, and, uh, and uh, Dr. White says, it, "Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's knowledge, mm -hmm. but it's not power till it's applied." That's right. That's right. You can have all the knowledge you want about something, and all the love you want. But if you don't love the person it's supposed to be given to, mm -hmm. it's not helping them. Right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I hear that. I hear that. And I hear, um, you know, show it to the least of the brethren. But sometimes we don't want to show it to the least of the brethren. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes we don't want to show it to the least in the community. But sometimes God will challenge you to show it to the least of the people in the community. And that is sometimes they don't, you know, they're trying to, 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 to use deception on you. You know, my car broke down and all this stuff and I need uh, two or three hundred dollars if you Loan it to me, I'll pay it back to you in the next world. Mm. <laughs> in the world to come. <laughs> and I saw a brother and I went out to get some gas. I said, didn't you make that recording and, and, you, and your tithe alone was $10,000? Mm -hmm. And he's outside talking about his car broke down. Mm -hmm. I said, no, you on drugs, and everybody in the neighborhood knows that. So I can't give you that. You know, that one brother stopped my car. He had more money in his hand than I had in my pocket. He said, Christy, you got a dollar. I said, use one of those dollars. You got more than that. He asked me for a dollar. <laughs> must be crazy. You know, people think I'm stupid because but don't show them that kind of love, that stupid love. You don't want love that stupid written on your face. When you walk away from people, you're gonna have stupid on your forehead. <laughs> so, agapeo is God's unconditional love. And, and, and it's a love of will. You will to love that person. Mm -hmm. When you don't want to, you love them because you got love for them. Yes, you know, yes. Holy Ghost put in your heart. Mm -hmm. yes. And so you love them anyway in spite of the situation that they're involved in. You show them. One lady took me to her house when I was a little fella. I must have been. 16 years old. 
and high access and mother right. Why do you, I, I don't understand this. Your husband's not saved, he's, he, he treats you like a dog. Mm -mm. Don't treat you right, but you still show him love and you cook for him, you do this, you do that. She said, well, I'm just showing him what I would do if I had a good man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's on him. Right. It's on him. And when God gets tired of it, I won't have to say a word. God will act. And as I've seen on BET, a film, where the brother dogged his wife so bad. I saw it. And, 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 and God stepped in. And he had such a bad, serious accident. And now he had to beg her. Please help me. He said, oh, you didn't help me. And I'm not I'm not obligated. Now, see, there's a, there's a difference between obligation and responsibility. Responsibility is based on you responding to kindness and love. Obligation, you have to decide whether you're going to do it or not. And if you don't deserve it, I'm not going to do it. You can't obligate me to love you. I love you because I, as much as lies within me, and it don't lie within me. So I ain't going to do it. See, y'all got it. When you break these terms down, you got to know what you're talking about. You see, so how many did I give you? About five. Storge, Luna, Luna, five. Then there's an old Greek term called Phylon, P H Y L A N. That's where in the English we get philanthropy. Turn. And phylon means biological love. The, the man is not interested in a relationship. He's just interested in sex. Mm -hmm. So that's biological love. He wants recreation and not procreation. And years ago, they, they the ones who wrote the Bible, the created the Bible was saying, and the two became one. How does the two become one? They create a baby. Two homosexuals cannot have a baby. So that's not procreation. The two cannot become one. I mean, they can go out and When God says procreate, he wants you to have someone that came from both of you. And some of y'all have someone that came from both of you. And that's good. And every now and then, a pastor has to talk like a father. Though I speak with the tongue. Teach, Bishop, teach. <laughs> a man of And that term 
Charity is agape. Did y'all know that? That's what it means. We say charity like we're giving something away. <laughs> Do you feel charity begins at home and then it spreads abroad? You don't pay your girlfriend's rent and your and your wife and kid are shivering. No heat. And you haven't paid the rent. Talking about the Lord will provide. <laughs> the Lord has provided, but you you misappropriated the provision. <laughs> but you you waiting for a prophecy. And, and, and though I have the gift of prophecy. You wait for Prophet Bobo to come in the room after you done gave up the money. And so one brother, yeah, I had a 26 caseload out of the 90 some odd people that were drug free. And he had 10 children. And, and the director, the executive director came to me and said, help him out. And I said, I'm going to help you out. He said, oh yeah? What you going to do? I said, number one, you need some shoes. You need a coat. And you need to give your wife some money. Because you got too many children to, to pretend that they're invisible. They are there, alive and kicking and hungry. So I gave him a check, almost about $200, because I was working for this agency. He went home, he got near the house, and decided he needed some drugs. Oh boy. So he spent part of the check for drugs. He had already bought the coat and the shoes, but he saw them gambling on the side of the street. So he went there and put the coat up and the shoes up. Now he doesn't have any coat and no shoes. He gave the other part of the money away from drugs. Came to me the next day. And, and you know, he, they all regard you as a reverend when they need some money. <laughs> they know your title. Reverend and, and Doc. I, I need, you gave me that check the other day, but it went too fast. Mm -hmm. I found out where it went. I said, you're not getting another check. Because the agency director told me to give you that. I'm not going to give it to you another one unless you go back to her and she's stricter than me. you got to send them to some strict people because when you are too kind, folk take advantage of you. Yep. So I sent them back there. She said, listen, for me to give you something else, Bring your wife here. I want to see her and, and, and half of them children. <laughs> he went and got them. All ten of them. He said, please give me something for them. I did the wrong thing and I'm repenting. And she said, I'll I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to her. Because she's taking care of the kids and she's responsible. So she gave her a check, another check. And they went on about their way. And don't mind folks that are gifted 
and want to take your money. Because I can, I, I, I can speak and I can prophesy have enough knowledge to move the mountain, but I have not love. I'm nothing. And the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians says, love suffers long mm -hmm. and it is kind. That's the fourth verse. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Right. You see people with puffed up attitudes? Yep. They can't talk to you. Mm -hmm. they can speak in tongues of men and of angels. But can't speak to you. No, no more on the opposite side of the church just to avoid you. Something's wrong with that love. That's not a model. Does not rejoice in iniquity. Yeah, you hit a lot of them. No, no, nobody now. But <laughs> if, if you've been given a million dollars, you should at least pay the tithe. Mm -hmm. Some folk don't believe in 